Hey again, this is Peter with carace.net. Uh, we're going to be doing a review on SwiftKey right now, so let's jump into it. Again, this is one of six reviews on a Samsung Captivate from AT&T, and we are testing six different keyboards today at carace.net to bring you guys kind of recommendations on our part of, depending on what type of cell phone and Android user you are, what keyboard you should be using. So first off, we're going to jump into settings. So again, let's scroll down, go to SwiftKey beta settings. Uh, it's pretty general. You have your language models, your usage stats, your input settings. So let's go to input settings. Um, pretty standard. You can choose your keyboard layout uh, depending on what you've used in the past and what you like. Uh, again, pretty standard stuff. Auto complete, auto accept, auto caps, um, acoustic feedback. So, um, autocomplete is, sorry, that's not standard, so you can press the space to select the middle suggestion. With SwiftKey Beta, it's not going to suggest things in a long line like you're usually used to. It suggests three things with the most likely on the front. Um, so let's go into it. Let's go back, go to our, back again, go to our home, jump into messaging, switch our input by long pressing the type, go to SwiftKey Beta. And it pops up. So, as you can see, this one also has voice. Uh, let's just try it out to show you guys. Hi, my name is Peter, and I'm with carace.net. So, also, like better keyboard, it, ke it gives you an option for the best match. Um, again, we're with carace, not carace, but you can kind of see how this works. So let's click cancel to go back. Let's go back into our keyboard. Uh, kind of show you around again at the top, as you can see, there's the three words for suggestion, for suggesting. Uh, on the bottom left, you have your shift. Um, you can hold that to when it turns blue, that means it's always going to stay shift, stay shifted, excuse me. Uh, Bottom left gives you your symbols. Clicking on that guy again is going to give you your emoticons and more symbols. You have your backspace over here, your enter button. And then to get to your settings, you just, as you can see, there's like a little wrench above the voice. Just hold that down and you get into it. So like all of our six reviews, we are going to type the Guinness World Record first. Uh, and you can find it, as you can see right here, the Razor Tooth Piranhas. If you guys know this one, um, I won't. I just won't read it to save time. What's interesting about SwiftKey is it really pays attention to your style and what you've typed in the past. So if you've typed the same thing, which I have, I typed this three times, and we've typed it three times into every keyboard that we're doing today to show you guys what its memory settings and what its you know user adaptability settings are like. And then we have a second paragraph, as you can see at the bottom, that we're going to type in that we've never typed in before to kind of show you what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis. With Swift Key Beta. I did the Guinness World Record in about 17 seconds, and I'm sure everyone out there who's reading right now knows that, or not sure, but everyone out there, if you're looking at this right now, the Guinness World Record was just set by a British woman uh, at 24 seconds with swipe. Someone beat that on the iPhone with like 19 seconds. After typing this phrase in three times on Swift Key Beta, I got it in about 17.4, and I'm sure everyone out there watching can get it in even less. So as you can see, we'll start out. It already says the, because I, again, typed it in three times. So let's go into it. So the, as soon as I type R, goes into razor tooth. And watch, we can just click out the rest of this sentence, because I typed it three times in the world. And we put in our period. It auto puts in the space and goes to the next one. So the next sentence is going to be, in reality, and as soon as I get to reality, it'll pop off the rest. They seldom attack human, human, they seldom attack a human, excuse me. Again, putting in the period, if we go back, and as you can see, human timeline, we just do the period. With, with Swift Key Beta, keep in mind that it will put in a space even if you use punctuation to complete it. So as you can see, human's the right word that we want to use. And we, when we put in a period, oh, sorry about that. We'll put in an H. We'll put in a period. Oh, well, with SwiftKey, 
it seems to not have the auto completion like other ones have. So as a correction, sorry about that, when you have Swift key beta engaged, typing a period with the main word highlighted will not actually insert that word, it will just insert a period, but once you insert a period afterwards, it does do the auto, insert a period after the word, and then insert a space. So keep that in mind when sending text messages. For example, with this text, it is perfectly uh, however many characters one text contains, and so if it had put in that space, it would have sent it as two separate messages. So keep that in mind for data rates. Um, so let's long tooth, and, or sorry, long tooth. Let's long hold this again. Edit text, very um, standard across the board. We're going to just select it all. We're going to do backspace to delete it, and let's type our next sentence. I'll try and hold it up to the screen as best as possible. Again, we are typing, hi, how are you today? I'm going to the grocery store later today. Do you need me to pick up anything? Dinner is at 5. So let's see what it's like typing that. And again, it has general um, input settings to do this. So it It'll, like, it, like it's showing right now, it has the, I, and hi, and I've never typed this in before. So it does have general what people are going to say right at the beginning of sentences, what people are going to say after certain words. So let's kind of see how well that works in this setting. So we have hi, we do the comma. As we start typing how, when we put it, R shows up on the left, how are you? And then again, just as suggestions afterwards, today we'll go in, we'll do our question mark. Going back, I'm going to the grocery grocery store later today. Put in my period. Do you again it shows want, but I'm going to do need in this. Case, do you need uh, me to pick up anything? Again, go to this. You can again. You can you can hold down the period to get that question mark. I'm just kind of showing you guys a different way to do it. Dinner is again. I suggest soon, but you can do at, hold down your T to do your five, click it, do your period, and oh, in this case, it did a period and did not do the space. So maybe Swift Key can send us an email commenting on exactly what the shortcuts are for punctuation and spaces, but as you can see, it types it out fairly quickly about, I would say, 25% of the words were already given to me when I was typing based on their own English dictionary uh, set. So we can go in, back all, select it, exit out, and go back to our home screen. So again, this is Swift Key Beta running on a Samsung Captivate AT&T. Uh, I'm Peter with Carries.net, and go to Carries.net for the full article outlining all six keyboards, our recommendations, and some more screenshots of the keyboards in action. Thanks, and look forward to the other three videos.